From winning Sweden's pop idol in 2009 to fronting Skid Row in 2022, it has been one hell of a journey for the young rocker from Sweden. So who is Eric Granwall? In Europe, Eric is well known as a powerhouse of a singer, but in the US he is hardly recognized. It wasn't until February of 2022, when he replaced Skid Row singer Z. Peter, that people started to take notice. For Eric Magnus Granwall, was born on the 3rd of December 1987, in Nifsta, a small town about 30 miles north of Stockholm, to parents Christina and Stellan, and his older siblings Linda and Henrik. Eric's mother and father soon realized that Eric belonged in the spotlight, as when he was only seven. Eric got on stage to sing in front of all the guests at his mother Christina's 40th birthday party. He sang The Elephant, his mother Christina Granwall explained. Father Stellan also recalled how naturally his son took to the stage. It was the first time that Eric had sung in front of an audience. Afterwards I almost had to drag him away because he was enjoying the limelight so much, he says. Growing up, Eric's father who was also a musician, and was a guitarist in the 70s, introduced young Eric to Elvis and the Beatles. He involved himself in sports including judo, but it was always the theater and music that he returned to. He liked to dress up and was a real theater monkey recalls mother Christina Granwall. He imitated everything from the Backstreet Boys to fairytale characters. When Eric started at Victor Rydberg's high school, music took on an increasingly important role in his life. There he met the music educator Maria Dactusson. He had something special. I already felt that Marie said. Even after graduation, Eric has continued to turn to Marie for questions about life and music. During high school, his focus went from mostly playing the guitar to singing. He became the lead singer and rhythm guitarist of the metal band Raid, from northeastern Stockholm and played with them until summer 2008. But there were even more admirers of Eric than Maria Dactusson, who have regarded Eric as a star subject. In the last year of high school, Eric was selected to play the lead role in the musical, We Will Rock You, at the Oscar Theater in Stockholm. In the same year, older sister Linda registered him for Idol 2007. That time he ended up among the last 50 at the selections. And how it went in Idol 2009 is now forever Idol history. Eric went on to win the Swedish version of Idol. In its sixth season in 2009, he sang the winning song and was declared the winner on December 11. During several of the shows, he received standing ovations from the jury for his performances. Immediately following Idol, Granwall released his debut single, Higher, which debuted at number one on Sverige Toplistan. One week later, his self-titled debut album Eric Granwall was released, which included songs performed during the Idol shows. The album made it right into the number one spot on Sverige Toplistan. The album has been certified platinum. In 2010, Swedish rock band Heat were looking for a new vocalist after their singer Kenny Lacrimo had to leave the band due to major heart problems. Granwall joined the Swedish rock band as their lead vocalist in 2012. They released the album Address the Nation. It was listed number one on the rock charts and was well received by critics. Heat started the recordings of their album Tearing Down the Walls in 2013, which was released in 2014. The band subsequently started their tour with the album. They have played all over the world and been the opening act for bands like Scorpion. In 2018, Eric played the key role of Simon Zelotes, of Andrew Lloyd Webber's and Tim Rice's musical Jesus Christ Superstar, debuted in the U.S., for 10 million viewers in NBC's live broadcast. In late 2020, Granwall left Heat after four albums with the band, and former vocalist Kenny Lacrimo rejoined. In the March of 2021, Eric revealed that he was battling cancer, called acute lymphoblastic leukemia. The 33-year-old Granwall shared a photo from his hospital bed, in his native Sweden, where he had been for the last 22 days. Granwall explained to fans that a month previous he had began suffering intense fatigue, and blood tests revealed that he has acute lymphocytic leukemia, a rare cancer in adults that affects white blood cells and progresses quickly and aggressively and requires immediate treatment. In September 2021, Granwall announced that he was cancer-free after receiving a bone marrow transplant. Some anonymous wonderful human being somewhere in the world donated his or hers blood cells so that I could get a second chance at life, he told Headbangers Lifestyle in January. Sometimes I just get tears in my eyes when I think about it. It's so beautiful that one person who is not connected to me in any way wanted to do that for me. He or she doesn't know that the blood cells were for me. It's done completely anonymously. Also in September 2021, 
Gronwall released his cover version of 18 and Life via all streaming platforms. In the March of 2022, Gronwall announced that he would be joining the American heavy metal band Skid Row as their new vocalist, replacing ZP Thirt, who had been in the band since 2016. Speaking to Australia's The Everblack podcast about how his cancer battle affected his outlook on his music career, particularly as it relates to the passion that he puts into his vocal performance, Eric explained. First of all, I'm so happy to be alive. Yes. So you get a lot of passion from just waking up and realize, fuck, I, I could have been dead now. <laughs> but I get to wake up another day and another one and another one, mm. hopefully. <clears throat> uh, and second of all, I get to wake up in Skid Row as, a, as the lead singer of Skid Row. And I told myself that I would just keep singing for the rest of my life. And I'm privileged to do it in this band. Skid Row are currently on tour, promoting their new album, The Gang's All Here. That was released in October of 2022. Please hit that like and subscribe button. And turn on that notification bell icon to know when we release another rock news video and other rock-related content.